What's up, guys? I hope you're all having a productive week so far. As we all know, XRP has been lagging behind other cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin has long since begun its rally, recording higher highs. The bulls seem to have lost the steam to push XRP prices higher. For that reason, the price of XRP yesterday crashed by a whopping 10%. With that said, let's head over to CoinMarketCap.com and see where the price of XRP stands. As we can all see, the price of XRP today is at $1.09. We are slightly in the green zone today, but the market has been up by only a, just under a half percent over the last 24 hours. Until Ripple Bulls can break above the governing technical pattern, the token may continue to decrease until XRP price reveals decisive directional intentions. But as we all know, XRP doesn't reasonably need a bull run because it will decouple itself from Bitcoin after the case is officially over. With that said, let's roll that intro and get into all the juicy details of today's video. As always, we welcome you back to MoneySide, your favorite crypto news channel. If you are new here, welcome to the XRP fam. Please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on our daily crypto news updates. Now back into today's video, we rev the engines with a tweet It comes to us from C. Gasparino that says, Breaking! In an exclusive interview with Brad Garlinghouse, the Ripple CEO tells Fox Business that meetings between Gary Gensler and Jay Clayton before the XRP case was bad optics and he won't settle the case if the price of XRP is being a security. More now with Liz Clavin. Now, if we look at the video shared by Tim R614 of that interview, we can clearly see the headline which says, No plans for an XRP ETF as Gensler picks winners and losers in the crypto space. If we listen to that interview, it's interesting how Brad Garlinghouse talked about the climate change agenda and the greener economy. In his words, he said that Bitcoin isn't good, while XRP, on the other hand, is favorable for that plan. I think it's unfair for Gary to pick the losers and winners in this space and especially to pick out XRP created in the USA to be the security. In contrast, we all have these other coins in the market whose agenda has not even been set straight. Next, we have a tweet. It's from Crypto Airy that says, for the SEC to state Ripple didn't have the seriousness to build liquidity with XRP is ridiculous. Ripple was laying the groundwork with the Central Bank of Mexico to use XRP in 2018-2019. Now today, think of the harm to immigrant workers in the U.S. Gary Gensler is causing. An independent investigation is needed to look into the suspicious actions of at SEC Gov now and in the past. They look to have caused significant damage to investors that they are supposed to protect in the USA and worldwide. It sucks for at Ripple to have to endure this unnecessary, long, drug-out, and expensive lawsuit. Maybe there is some serious corruption going on within the SEC, but I genuinely hope that Gary Gensler and Jay Clayton have their days in court using their own personal attorneys. Next up, we have a tweet from Ripple that says, Facts, Fictions, Falsehoods. Hammer Toe addresses the most prevalent misconceptions surrounding the XRP ledger in his latest blog post. Let's look at that article that Ripple posted on their website. Hammertoe starts by saying that as someone deeply ingrained in the software development community for 20 years, he has realized that misinformation propels hearsay unlike anything else. And since several falsehoods circle XRP Ledger, he would like to set the record straight. In that article, Hammertoe breaks down the facts about the XRP Ledger and debunks some of the biggest misconceptions surrounding the same. He starts with the most rampant falsehood that the XRP ledger is centralized. The truth is that the XRP ledger is decentralized. That's because the XRP ledger delivers powerful utility to developers on a public decentralized blockchain. Validation occurs via a consensus process where independent nodes are managed by a wide range of participants not by a singular controlling entity. Amendments to the XRP ledger can be proposed by any participant and require 80% quorum approval for two consecutive weeks by the validator community. And once confirmed, transactions cannot be reversed or altered. Another myth that he debunks is that the new XRPs can be added to the XRP ledger. But the truth is 
that even if a bad actor attempted to add unauthorized XRP to the ledger, the consensus protocol ensures no single authority can execute on this. More than 66 million ledgers have been successfully closed since the XRP ledger was first conceived, with 100 billion XRP created at the inception of the ledger and no additional XRP has ever been added into the system. This overview helps the XRP and crypto community at large look beyond the unfounded myths about the XRP ledger. In fact, this overview shows everyone just how amazing the XRP ledger is and how it's about to transform the world of finance. As we wind down on today's video, we have another exciting tweet. It comes to us from at Coindesk, which says, Ghana reportedly wants to make its central bank digital currency available offline via the use of smart cards. If we quickly look at what Coindesk wrote on this blog, we can see that Ghana wants its CBDC to work offline. CBDCs are digital forms of a jurisdiction's legal currency and are designed to be available via smartphones. According to the report, Kwame Opong, head of fintech and innovation at the Bank of Ghana, said the country's digital currency, the e SETI, would work offline through the use of smart cards. Smart cards are physical cards embedded with a chip similar to modern bank cards. Speaking at the Ghana Economic Forum on Monday, Opong said that efforts to bring financial services to people without access to bank accounts are hindered by the availability of connectivity and power. He suggested that a CBDC that could be used offline might be a possible solution to this problem. With that in mind, time now to take a look at the technicals. We'll talk about Ripple and its price action from the technical point of view and the wave structure from the Elliott Wave perspective. We have to respect that Ripple looks quite bullish after it unfolded five waves up from June to September. However, we still see it as a wave A of a three-wave ABC rally. So after a nice and clean pullback in wave B, it seems like XRP USD is ready to continue higher for wave C. And because wave C is a motive wave, we can expect a new five-wave bullish cycle that can easily send the price back to September's highs and the $1.50 to $1.70 area. As you can see, currently it can be forming a nice bullish setup with subwaves one and two that can now be ready for a jump into wave three, but only if the price manages to stay above 85 cents in validation level. We are seeing an uptrend, which is confirmed by vertical volume, which means that the imbalance in favor of buyers remains strong. Signs of the strength of the trend are clearly visible in the corrective price movements, which are minimal, so there is a very high probability that the price will rewrite the high. On the chart, I mark the strong areas of congestion of orders, which are holding the price back. The price may well drop to the support level with only one goal, to gain volume for large Bitcoin holders. The level from above will most likely be broken in the coming days, and the first target will be the historical high. Please keep in mind, we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. Tell us what you think in the comment section below and let's have a conversation. As always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and we invite you to click on that subscribe button below. Turn on notifications so you get informed whenever we post our amazing content. Thanks again and we will look forward to seeing you on the next Money Side.